We shift our focus to the world of business now. Viewers, bear with the traditional peak season of September and October for auto sales approaching. Many automakers, including Tesla and the likes of even Audi, are moving early by launching new models or opening pre-sales in Shanghai, aiming to secure a head start. Now, te take Tesla, for example. It selected Shanghai as the stage for the global debut of all of its new model YL. Listen in the start of a new era because it's our first EV that has really been developed in China for China based on the concept of the best of both worlds. And for sure, we want to make now the E5 Sportback a big success, but it's only the starting point. And there will be further models released. There will be an um, upper class SUV be released, and then there will be an upper class sedan-like car released, and further models are under development. NVIDIA is developing a new AI chip for China based on its latest Blackwell architecture that will be more powerful even than the H2O model that it currently allows to sell there, according to reports. U.S. President Donald Trump, meanwhile, last week opened the door to the possibility of more advanced NVIDIA chips being sold in China. However, reports noted that U.S. regulatory approval is still far from guaranteed and deep-seated fears in Washington about giving China too much access to U.S. artificial intelligence technology. China's Pop Mart, which has taken the world by storm with its ugly, cute Labubu doll or the Labubu frenzy, if I may, reported a nearly 400% first-half earnings on the 19th of August on high demand for the toys and also a shift towards higher margin overseas markets. Now, shares in Pop Mart have risen more than 200% year-to-date marking or rather making the Chinese toy company more valuable than traditional industry giants such as Barbie maker Mattel and Hello Kitty parent Sanrio. Viewers, India is building its tallest and most powerful rocket yet. It's nicknamed Surya. It stands tall at 92 meters, is even surpassing the Qutub Minar and also promises heavy lift capability, reusability and most of all, green fuel. It's designed for future space station missions. The next generation launch vehicle also marks a bold leap in ISRO's space ambitions. NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla reports from New Delhi. India is getting ready for making its next generation launch vehicle and there is now a name for it, Surya. The Surya rocket is going to be 92 meters tall, which means it is 20 meters taller than the Qutub Minar, which stands at 72 meters. So an Indian rocket taller than the Qutub Minar and with very heavy lift capability. It is made so that it can carry very heavy satellites into space and ideally to be used for the making of India's space station or the Bharatiya Antarik station. It is powered by many, many engines. And ISRO says in the first stage, the engines will be made so that they will be retrieved and reused. Till date, India does not have reuse capability of its rockets. So Surya will also give reuse capability for India's rockets and will be also be able to launch heavy satellites into space. Surya rocket, ISRO says, will be a game changer. It uses new fuel, it uses new technology, and ISRO says, once they get approval, they will launch it in less than eight years. India's Polar satellite launch vehicle and India's Bahubali rocket, the launch vehicle Mark III, have made ISRO and India proud. And now the next generation launch vehicle, Surya, getting ready. With camera person Xavier Thomas in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.